with homemade cards and drawings lined the wall of Steve Saint's hospital room in Gainesville, Florida. A veteran pilot and missionary, Saint is recovering from a paralyzing head injury suffered while testing a new aircraft wing at his nearby ITEC mission headquarters. I have been through more pain than I ever imagined possible. And honestly, not one time have I wondered or wanted to ask God why this happened. The accident left Saint without the use of his hands or feet. I can tell you I've never felt this helpless before. But a week after the accident, surgery to drain fluids around his spinal cord allowed Saint to briefly stand up, bringing hope for at least a partial recovery. Saint was a boy living in Ecuador's jungle in 1956 when his father, pilot Nate Saint, was killed by the Aka Indians he was trying to evangelize. relatively long since I was in Ecuador. Um, my um, spinal cord injury took place, well, it'll be six years tomorrow, uh, June 12th. I think that I hadn't been in Ecuador for four to six months before that, so it'll be six and a half years, which might not seem like all that terribly long, except that before that, I was going, oh, three or four times a year in between other travels. So this has been a long, long time. this what I suppose will almost surely be my last trip to Ecuador I was thinking I should be sad and, and yet I wasn't and then I realized that for six years I've wondered and dreamt about the possibility of getting to go back and say goodbye to the land of my birth by land I mean the people and by people mostly the Waurani I know lots of people in Ecuador, but uh, they're all different places in Ecuador, and a lot of time has gone by. I guess it's such a surprise to get to go back that uh, the sadness is over, overshadowed by, overlighted, should I say, by the uh, pleasure of getting to go back, and not only getting to go back, but with 23 of the, well, 24 of the 28 members of our family. But, uh, that's, wow, that's incredible to take this many of our family all but four members, that's, that's really something. 